All right, so the first mod that we have on today's list is going to be the auto sort lockers mod. But there are four lockers that we can now build. So we have the auto sort distributor. We have the auto sort vehicle unloader. We have the auto sort receptacle. And then we have the standing auto sort receptacle. So we have four new lockers that we can build in our base. As the name entails, it's going to automatically sort your resources out. Whenever you put stuff in the lockers, it'll automatically sort the resources out to the different lockers depending on how you have them labeled. All right, so here we have our auto sort distributor right here. And then we have the auto sort receptacle lockers right here. So basically what's going to happen or what's supposed to happen, you're supposed to put like resources, items, just anything in the main auto sort distributor, which is going to be this red box right here. And then it's going to automatically, depending on what you have these lockers set to, it'll distribute those items to their respective lockers. So it says sorting disabled. So we're going to turn that on by right clicking this little thing down here. Now it's ready to sort. So now we have this locker. We're going to change these lockers. You can change the color of the actual locker. That's nice. For all these settings to like change and whatnot, you're going to right click them all just so you know. So you can either have your locker be super specific and only accept an extremely specific type of resource, or you can make it a little more generic and just have it do like straight metals, fish, synthetic metals, chemicals, etc. All right, so now that we have all our lockers set up, we got the acid mushroom, battery, bladder fish locker, and we got metal locker, and then we have the chemicals locker. We're gonna test this out by putting some stuff in here, and if it works correctly, it should distribute all of our items throughout the lockers. We're gonna put the metals in first, and they should disappear as I put them in. All right, as we can see, I put all my stuff in there, and the locker is automatically sorting them throughout all the different lockers right here so we can see it hasn't gotten to the bleach yet but it is sorting out the bladder fish right now the number is going up and now it's doing the titanium and now it's sorting out the bleach so with the auto sort vehicle unloader locker you know built in your moon pool or just anywhere in your base because i think it works no matter what whenever you dock a vehicle into your base through the moon pool and it has like a storage module or whatnot and it's going to dock the vehicle it's going to unload the vehicle's um cargo into that locker over there and then that locker is going to auto sort into these lockers over here all right and as we can see the items are now unloading did it unload the c mod Yes, it did. So there's nothing in here now. So if we head over to the lockers over here, it should have filled up a little bit more. And then there's a lot more acid mushrooms in here. And then the unsorted items. Yeah, we got two acid mushrooms unsorted because the acid mushroom locker is currently full. So I really like this mod because it speeds up organization and it makes your life a thousand times easier because you only have to put resources into one locker to actually like organize your entire base instead of having to go through individually and open every single locker and then move all your all your resources around like that. You can just build an auto sorter and it'll automatically sort all of your stuff throughout the different lockers in your base. So I really, really, really like this mod, but it's gonna show you what's in the specific lockers so you know where everything is. So that was the auto sort lockers mod. And with that, we can move on to our next mod. So the next mod we have on this list is going to be the resource monitor mod, a very simple and straightforward mod. So essentially it's going to add this new buildable for your interior modules of your base. It's called the resource monitor. We have a small one right here. And then we have the large one. Essentially what it's gonna do is whenever you have it built in your base, it's going to show you the amount of resources that you have in your base and what resources specifically. So I have a bunch of, a variety of resources in my base right now. So we're gonna build this. No way it has a, its own loading screen. We can see all the resources that we have and it shows us the numbers. So we have 31 titanium in our base, 10 bleach, five batteries, bladder fish, and acid mushrooms. And if you hover over it, you can actually pick up the different resources that you're looking for, which is super convenient. Again, just like the previous mod, the auto sorter, because it saves you a lot of time in the long run because you won't have to go through all your individual lockers. You'll know what you need to be looking for whenever you leave your base, whenever you go out on resource runs and whatnot. So yeah, resource monitor mod, super straightforward, but I really, really, really like it because it helps a lot with organization and saving a whole bunch of time because it saves you the trip of having to go through all your annoying lockers. And with that, we can head on to the last mod we have on today's list. All right, and the last mod we have on today's list is going to be a mod involving food. So we're gonna go to our fabricator, open the sustenance, and it's gonna add a bunch of new types of food that we can actually make. So starting off with water, we have double large filtered water. We got milkshakes, marble juice, creep vine tea, mint tea, fruit tea, and kush tea. Oh, okay, it actually gives you a lot more. So the teas give you food, health, and uh, a little bit to your water. That's nice. And then we got the marble juice giving us 20 food and 38 water. I'm assuming this double double filtered, double large filtered water is probably gonna give you 100 to your water. Yeah, I figured, I figured that much. And we got the milkshake giving us 64 water, 11 food and 25 health. Oh, we have plant filtered water as well. Okay, filtered using a natural plant membrane. Let's see how much that gives us. 
with 20 to our water. All right. So there's nothing in this cooked food section, so let's just keep it moving. Nothing in the cured food, but now we have the delicious meal section, which is entirely new and on its own. So we have the nutrient block, which... So the nutrient block isn't exactly new, because you can find these in the base game, but you can't craft them. So that's what this mod adds, so you can actually make the nutrient block now using two Chinese potatoes and pygmy fans. All right, so we got all our new foods in our inventory. So we have the nutrient block that gives the 75, which is, I believe that's base game, so that's just regular. So now we have the fruit nutrient block giving us 68 food, that's pretty nice. We got the sweet fruit jam that gives us 68 food and 10 water, that's pretty strong, I would say. Spicy fruit salad giving us 75 food and 50 water, also pretty strong. The Nutritious Travel Kit, kinda OP, it gives us 112 to our food and 100 water, so it fills your stats up completely. And finally, we got our chocolate bar that gives us 35 food, negative 10 to our water, and 12 health. So all some pretty nice little food items that the game added, that the game added, what? That this mod added. And the last section we have to go over is going to be the coffee section. So we got the coffee Americano. I hope I'm saying that right. Americano. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I don't really know the fancy coffee names. So this coffee gives us 12 to our water. We got the coffee latte giving us 9 to our food, 24 to our water, and 15 health. Coffee mocha giving us 21 to our food, 14 to our water, and 18 to our health. That's pretty, pretty good as well. And then we have the raft coffee giving us 12 to our food, 19 to our water, and then 10 health. But that was all the different types of food that this mod adds to the game. So there's a lot more options that you'll have as far as food goes, because in the base game, you only really have like fish. You got the few plants and then just the regular old water bottles. So this mod gives you a lot more options when it comes to food and some of these, not even some of these, a lot of these foods are kind of lore friendly, even if some of them are a little bit strong. So yeah, you just have a lot more options when it comes to food and water in this game, which can be kind of fun and a plus depending on, you know, if you care about that sort of thing. That was the Altera Ways food mod and it's going to be the last mod on today's list. If y'all have any other mods that you may want to recommend to me so I can go and check them out in my next video, feel free to let me know. But other than that, that is about all I have for y'all. Thank y'all for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed and I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.